we don't back down Cock it back and clap rounds Murderers, I know you f heard of us in dirty, dirty sound Don't back down, cock it back and clap rounds Murderers, I know you f heard of us in dirty, dirty sound Don't back down, cock it back and clap rounds Murderers, I know heard of us in dirty, dirty sound Welcome everyone, I'm Yodi, your host, and welcome to another episode of Dirty's Health. On today's show, we'll be talking about the dangers of drinking, and I'll be showing you three interviews. Hopefully, these interviews will make teenagers see the effects of drinking, and hopefully stop. Right. Now we're going to cut to this VT on binge drinking. Many of the short-term problems of drinking too much alcohol too often can be felt almost immediately. You might find you sleep badly because even a glass or two of alcohol a night can cause you to miss out on the important first stage of sleep, meaning you sleep more lightly and can wake up feeling exhausted. Alcohol also contains a lot of calories, seven calories a gram in fact, so you may start gaining weight. There's also what's going on inside. First of all, there's your liver. Regularly drink over the daily unit guidelines and you are likely to damage your liver, causing it to become inflamed, even scarred. And yet, when your liver is damaged, you generally won't know about it until things get serious. Regularly drinking too much increases your risk of developing many serious illnesses, including cancer. Alcohol is the second biggest risk factor for cancer after smoking. Regularly drinking too much also increases the risk of high blood pressure, which is one of the most important risk factors for having a heart attack or stroke. All of this can be a bit alarming, but just by cutting back your drinking and not regularly exceeding the government's daily unit guidelines of two to three units for women and three to four for men, you'll soon start to see the benefits. First of all, you'll sleep better, you'll feel better and be more productive in your work and your life in general. And you'll be looking healthier and losing weight because you'll be consuming less calories. Plus you'll know that for all the effects that you can see, as a result of drinking less, your long-term health prospects will also be much improved. So, those are the main effects of alcohol on your body. To check the facts about alcohol, understand your drinking, or for support in making a change, explore the Drink Aware website. The first interview I'm going to show you is the interview I had with an 18-year-old who came on the show today to tell us his experience with him and his brother. Let's take a look, why don't we? Um, so, hello, Delacro. Nice to meet you. Would you like to tell us about yourself, please? Um, yeah, um, I'm 18. Um, I'm here to encourage teenagers to stop drinking, kind of um, get the point to them that it's a bad habit, and just to tell about um, my brother who um, suffered from serious damage from drinking and just to set an example about what happened to him just to use that to encourage people to stop drinking. So what was the severe damage brought to your brother? Um, well his liver was um, severely damaged. And how is your brother now? Um, well he's recovering now but yeah he's um, he has stopped his decided that drinking isn't the right way to go and he's completely off it now. Would you say he's a binge drinker or a heavy drinker? Um, I'd say he was, well he was a heavy drinker right? but now he he's completely off it now so we've um, stopped him kind of um, keeping him busy so that he's not drinking but before that he did used to drink a lot. I'm glad to see that he's okay. So, what age would you say you started drinking at? Um, I started drinking at the age of 16. I was underaged um, at my brother's birthday party. Um, I was sitting at a table and he bought me a drink and he let me taste some. And I guess that was my first time when I started drinking. Do you drink? Um, well, not anymore, but I used to drink, but I've stopped now. Would you say it's um, peer pressure that got you into drinking? Well, for me, I don't think I was peer pressured into anything. So it was mainly your decision to drink? It was uh, my own decision to start drinking. But I'd, I would say that it was probably just my surroundings that kind of influenced my decisions to start drinking. Because you're drinking because you didn't want to be left out, did you not realise that it would affect your health? Well, it did cross my mind about what would happen to me if I started drinking. I mean, I did know about the damages, the liver damages that it was caused me, but 
I didn't really um, know about how serious it was until quite recently. I'm glad to see that you've decided to pick that choice to stop drinking. You heard it from the left or drinking isn't worth anything. You can always have fun doing something else. It doesn't have to be drinking. So just cut drinking out of your life and live a happy life. Thank you guys. This is the Lapo. Thank you. Nice to have you here, the Lapo. Thanks. Thank you for everything. And lastly, I'm going to interview a former college student who's dropped out from college from drinking. Let's see what he has to say. Welcome, everyone. I'm here today with John. Nice to meet you, John. Right. And he's going to tell us about why he's dropped out of college from drinking. So, John, why did you drop out of college? Well, it started, you know, affecting my work. Stopped doing my homework and stuff, obviously, when you have a hangover. You're not too motivated. So did you get your final grades at the end? I did. I did. They weren't too good. I got a DEU. What is it? Yeah. So um, you dropped out from Crash King St Mary's? Yep. And so where are you now? I'm at North West Kent. Is the facilities there better? No, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> so you would rather be in Crash King St Mary's? Yeah. yeah. I can blame this on your drink. Uh, I'd say so, yeah. So when did you first start your drinking experience? Uh, I first started drinking. 14? Wow. wow! What did your parents think of you drinking? My parents didn't know at the time. They know I drink now. But, yeah. Are they happy that you drink? Uh, no, not really. But, you know, they. Uh, I don't think they understand the extent of what I drink to. What made you get into drinking? Uh, you know, the parties, the drink was there. Do you regret drinking at all? Oh, the day after I usually do. I usually forget that next time I go to the pub. <laughs> party. What is your experience with drinking now? Yeah, I haven't stopped yet. I'm trying to stop because obviously it's a bad habit, but yeah, I do still go to party. What would make you stop drinking? What would make me stop drinking? Hmm. I don't know, maybe an intervention. <laughs> maybe if all my friends and family just gathered around yeah. me one day and like, oh, you need to stop drinking. So you're saying you need more support? Uh, no, I, I, could probably, I could probably stop drinking. If uh, Probably if I got a full-time job. I'll stop drinking then, because I wouldn't want it to obviously get me sacked. Are you aware of the effects of drinking? I wasn't, but I am now. It can uh, really damage your liver. And seeing as I've done it from uh, such a young age, it could give me long term liver damage. How do you affect yeah. Hopefully, you don't get it. Yeah, hopefully. Has it affected the relationship between you and a girl? Yeah, no, one time when I was drunk, I uh, rang this girl and basically. I told her I was going to kill her boyfriend or something. I don't really wow. remember. That's but then uh, the police got involved and shit, and you know, it went wrong. <laughs> what was your worst experience with drinking? Another day with the same girl, you know, uh, it's hard to explain how it started because I was drunk, but basically I punched this guy and basically knocked him out, and then his mate hit me with a ball. Oh. Then I decked him as well, and I got kicked out. So, yeah. Well done, you've had an amazing experience. Thank you for coming up to the show today. Good luck at college. <laughs> well, folks, that's all. Stop drinking, that's all. <laughs> well, that's all on Dirty South today. I'm Yoli, your host. You've heard what these teenagers had to say about drinking, so stop drinking. Thank you for coming. That's Dirty South. Join us next time.